catch, 1570. Around his neck was a cross. Maybe he was a part-time pirate. The portrait might have made a nice souvenir, but it was too large to carry. It was the portrait of Cap... The portrait might have made a nice souvenir, but it was too large to carry. Yow! I should have known better than to put my hand in there. Grandma Stobart had a nasty experience in a water butt once. cross you're wearing, Emily. It's my lucky Jesus cross. It's just like the one Captain Ketch wore. Uh-huh. Can I borrow it? Uh-uh. What would you trade for that cross, Emily? A puppy. Well, I don't happen to have a puppy in my pocket right now. Can you think of anything else you'd trade? Don't know. There were several things I wanted to say to that awful kid, but I held my tongue. There were several things I wanted to say to that awful kid, but I held my tongue. Nothing else on the bicycle road. What do you give to a small, irritating girl who asks about everything? Try a conch. Delicate colors, interesting shape, and when you put it to your ear, you can hear the sea. Yeah? Why is that? Usually because you're standing next to it. Cool. Have you got one? Yeah. But I promise it to my sister. She well vexed with me. Why is your sister mad with you? Well, last night, when I got home with our supper, she went wild. Real, she said. How come all you ever catch is puffer fish? I sick of puffer fish. What I want is tiger fish. So don't bother come back home till you catch one, boy. I don't see how I'm going to catch no tiger fish. All I have is a fishing pole and a worm. Hey. This is just what you need to make a fly. Thanks. Let's hope them tiger fish hungry. A deal, a deal. Here's a conch. Here, I've got a conch. Would you like it? Dunno. Aunt Frost told me never to take presents from strange men. I'm not a strange man. Then why are you called Jaws, Jaws? That's a stupid name. I'm not called... Look, conch. Pretty. Swap for the cross, yes or no. Right, this thing's going out the window. Okay, we'll do swapsies.
Ketcher's craw slipped snugly into the penholder. What you doing, Jaws? I've put your cross in this little hole in the desk. Why? Impulse, mainly, with a dash of irrational intuition. Silly. Only women have intuition. I wasn't going to take the cross out of the holder. Somehow I just knew that was where it was supposed to be. Holding that lantern, I felt kind of biblical, like Jesus or, or Florence Nightingale. The lantern fitted so precisely in the inkwell, it could only be deliberate. What you doing now, Jaws? Knock it off, will ya? There's something you ought to know. I don't buy cute or lost puppy. I put the lantern in the inkwell. See? It fits. Why? Because it was cut to fit. Why? Because sneaky old Captain Ketch made it that way. Why? What is with all the questions? Because I'm interested. Why? Because I have the insatiable curiosity of the young. Why? All right. Truth. The lantern cast a strong light over the desktop. The light cast a shadow of the cross. And the shadow fell precisely over a small, unnamed island shaped Skull. That must be it. Treacher's Treasure Island. Uh-oh. That zombie island. It's a bad place. No kidding? Well, bad place or not, that's my next port of call. Can I come too? The hell you can. I never get to leave the house. Would you take me to, uh, Zombie Island? In this weather? You're mad, man. The rain will keep the zombies indoors. Just say, I did meet a zombie. What would you do? There ain't no zombies on Zombie Island. At least, not anymore. It's uninhabited. Good. What do you mean, not anymore? You still want to go? I guess. Well, I ain't had no luck with them tiger fish, and with the mood my sister is in. I'll be safer with the zombies. So, this was Zombie Island. Somehow I'd been expecting something more sinister. Come on, Rio. Let's find that treasure. No, thanks. I'm staying right here. Oh, come on. You said yourself there's no zombies left. Yeah, but that was while there was a big pile of seawater between me and this place. All me have now is this little bit between the boat and the shore, and I'm hanging on to it. Rio's boat was strewn with fishing nets and tackle. The cliff was steep, too steep to climb without handholds. And I couldn't find any. It 
It was too high. I couldn't get up there. Could I borrow your net? Yeah, man, no problem. You planning on catching some fish? Nope. I'm after a big rock. Watch out for the walking dead. I stumbled down dark stairwells for what seemed like forever until suddenly I found myself, wow. In an abandoned London underground station, this place must have been closed down decades ago. 